Uh, and Harold Ham seems to be pretty How positive. How do you like that? I mean, um, it took you till 9.36 to bring that up. Well, I wanted to let you, you know, get through a lot of things first. But what we're talking about is Harold Ham. You know him. You've seen him. Comes on our air. Uh, one of the pioneers, right, in terms of, of in terms of fracking and yep. and the Bakken. Uh, Continental Resources is his company. He owns 83% of it, by the way, but it's not enough. He wants the other 17%. That's incredible. He's picked a point and he that makes, most of us would say he's late. And he makes an offer to acquire the company for 70 bucks a share. Uh, as you would note, the stock is trading above that. Why? Well, it is seen as a somewhat low offer. Let me tell you the premiums here. Uh, 9% to yesterday's close, 11% to what they're calling the volume-weighted average price over the last 30 trading days, and what they say is a 21% premium uh, for the full year. But, of course, yeah, it's moved up a lot because oil has moved up a lot. All of energy has moved up a lot. Multiple overall would seem to be a bit low versus the group. Hence, you're seeing this reaction. Uh, if he really wants it, he's going to have to pay more. They've established a special committee of the board to obviously deal with their largest shareholder. He also made it clear in his letter, by the way, this is not about him selling, not about him at all interested in any way in another alternative uh, or anything else. If the special committee says no, then they're just going to go home and keep their 83 percent. But that's where we stand. I guess, Jim... Carl, maybe it means he just thinks there's a great future for energy for a while. I think there is, although natural gas is down limit. Natural gas is down extraordinary, 8.5%. I'm trying to find that out. But, look, I think that that one of the things about these oil companies is that they generate so much cash that why would you not want the cash yourself? Why do you have to By the way, I mean, the stock is up 343% over the last two years. Well, but uh, 64% to date. And Harold now, I mean, you know, remember when he wrote that billion-dollar check to to his ex-wife? And we thought, ooh, that's a lot. But now he's now he's worth twenty three billion dollars himself. Twenty no, billion dollars himself. No comment. No comment. No comment. Okay. I wasn't asking for one. You thinking about checks you've written? <laughs> Those didn't become memes on the internet. You no, know, if I get the check from uh, my Brit Bit guy, I might be able to write a check. <laughs> Where's the Bit guy? I. What's he doing over there? Oh, my God. Let me just check again. All this for $37. No, I just want the money back. There. I know you do. I know you do. Show me the money, please. Um, to, to your point about Nat Gas, Jim, uh, Freeport uh, is now eyeing a partial restart in about 90 days. Oh, great. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, that's. Yeah. That, that just shows you how much bad money there is in Nat well, Gas. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.